we're going to take a look at the questions for my review section on your toolkit. Here you can prepare in advance of your medicines review meeting with your healthcare professional and can also follow up on any key issues after your meeting. You are prompted to think about your experiences in taking your medicines and any impacts on your daily life. You can send your answers to your healthcare professional so that you can both use them as a basis for discussion during your review and afterwards. By completing the questions contained in this section over the course of several medicines review meetings, you will be able to build up a picture of how the effects of your medicines on your health and well-being can change over time. Let's click on the questions for my review icon on the home page of the toolkit. Here we have the option to answer the review questions online through the app or to print off a PDF version of the questions and complete them manually. By filling out the online app version, it means that you can share your answers directly with your healthcare professional via email. If we click on the answer a new set of review questions, a prompt appears where you can enter the date of your upcoming medicines review appointment. Select a date from the calendar using the forward and the back buttons and then click on continue. You will then see two options, one for answering questions prior to your medicines review meeting and one to answer questions following your medicines review meeting. Let's look firstly in more detail at the pre-review questions. The pre-review is divided into three sections with a few short questions under each heading. Each question has preset answers to choose from and also space for you to enter further free text comments. The first section is understanding my medicines. You are asked if you would like a better understanding about your medicines. As an example, let's click on yes for just a few of my medicines and enter some text. You click on done and then scroll back up and click next in the top right hand corner. You can now see there is, also, there is also a previous button in the top left hand corner if you want to go back to edit your answer to an earlier question. Question 2 in this section prompts you to think about whether or not you would like a better understanding of any possible problems with your medicines. Click on yes for several of my medicines. And again, if you want to enter a particular comment of your own, you can enter it in the free text box underneath. Scroll back up and click on Next. The final question in this section asks about how you felt after your last review meeting and if your concerns and views had been fully considered by the healthcare professional. It's the same format as before with the preset questions and comments box at the bottom. Let's click on none of my views and concerns were considered and enter some free text. When happy with your answer, click on save. You are now taken to a page that contains more information and support relevant to the section you have just completed. If you want to find out more, then click on the down arrow to expand or collapse the information boxes. When you are finished, click on the green return to question list button. Now we can complete the second section of questions. Let's click on Medicines and My Daily Life. Here the first couple of questions are about any side effects you may be experiencing from your medicines. Let's click on Yes, as before, and use the Next button. You can choose either one or several of the pre-entered options and there is also a free text box at the bottom for anything else you want to add. 
let's select skin rash and enter another symptom. Once complete, scroll back up to the top and click on next. The next question asks if your medicines are impacting more generally on your daily activities like work, social life and housework. Again, you can select one or several of the options and if you don't see what you're looking for, then you can select other and enter your comment in the free text box. Scroll back up and click on next. The last question in this section asks about your mood to get a better insight if your medicines may be impacting you emotionally or psychologically. Let's click on no and scroll down to click on the green save button. As before, you are taken to a page containing further information and support relevant to this section. You can expand and collapse using the right hand arrows. When you are finished, click on the green return to question list. Now you can complete the final section of pre-review questions, which are about taking your medicines correctly. There are five questions in this section, but they should be very quick to fill in. Let's click on taking my medicines correctly. Answer these questions using the preset answers and entering your own comments if required in the free text boxes. Clicking on next in the top right hand corner as you go along and ending with the green save button at the bottom of question five. As before, you then get to the further information and support page relevant to this last section. To exit this page, click on the green return to question list button at the bottom. You should now be able to see that all of the questions have now been answered. If you want to make any changes to your answers, you can click back into the questions from here. Nothing is finalised yet. If you are happy with your responses, then click on the finalise and share button. A reminder pops up to say that any further change will not be possible. Now click on continue. You are then told that your answers have been saved and that you can now continue on to sharing the completed questions with your healthcare professional or that you can stop there and come back at a later date to share them. Let's continue on. At the top of this page is a privacy notice about the security of any personal information that you have entered into the app. We can fill in the form to indicate who we are. Let's enter a name. And we can select a date of birth by using the forward and back buttons. Then we enter the email address of the practice or the pharmacist that you want to send your pre-review meeting answers to. By using the green plus sign, you can enter multiple email addresses, so you could also email your answers to yourself or a carer. There are no limitations on the number of email addresses that you can enter. When finished, click on the green submit button. A final checkbox pops up and after you confirm, you should then see another pop up confirming that the review has been sent successfully. Click on OK to go back to your main review page. Now we can take a look at the post review section. Following your review, you are encouraged to complete some very similar questions as you answered before the meeting. They cover the same three main areas, but this time they include a few questions about whether your review was helpful. As before, answer these questions using the preset answers and entering your own comments if required in the free text boxes. 
clicking on next in the top right hand corner as you go along and ending with the green save button at the bottom of the last question in each section. Once completed, you can then finalise and share your post-review responses in the same way as you did with your pre-review answers. Once both pre- and post-review meeting responses are finalised, you will then be able to see a section called My Previous Review Responses on your initial questions for my review page. Over time, multiple reviews can be created, saved and shared, and they will all be listed here, providing you with a tracker of how your medicines can affect your health and well-being.